Uh, my name is John Pulaski, 3 Jenison Street. And I think if Mr. Buxton's frustration, he probably is around my age and he probably remembers the solemn promise when we switched from the Selectman Town Meeting form of government that a town citizen would never be cut off short when addressing the town council. So that may have something to do with his frustration and mine. Uh, one question I have, a, a figure of $2 million for this study was mentioned. Is any of that being paid for by the town? I think the answer is no at this point. Okay, so even though these folks are representing the town, I hope you can see that before, in let's say a trial, someone's upset that they can't use their water or breathe the air, that it's, it's going to be, sus not sus I don't want to use the word suspicious, but these things are, you know, like the way that we have, like our, some of the people in town are paid by, you know, it, it's, and I'm not even going to comment on this because I haven't read the entire report, but I'm just curious, and I heard some today I didn't catch the last time. I tell you, jury's gonna, eyes are going to, I mean, this is, isn't really easy to fall because not too many people are excited about this subject unless your water, uh, you know, you can't shower in your water safely or whatever. I don't think a lot of people really care why their water's no good. But it's going to be hard to convince the jury that it has nothing to do with the landfill. But two things that startled me, because I, I couldn't understand when you have wells as much as 600 feet deep, how you can call that going uphill. So are you saying the groundwater at the landfill is 600 feet? below the landfill? No, no. Um, so how is it going uphill? There's an analogy that someone else used. If you take a clear tube of water and, you know, if you have six feet of water or you have 60 feet of, if you have a 60 foot tube or a 100 foot tube, if you fill that up with water, no matter what you do, that elevation stays the same. Yes. So. We're not looking at the bottom of the well. We're looking at the top of the water surface because the top of the water is where is what dictates the flow. So you can't have you know if you were to pull and put your thumb over one end of the tube and pick it up. Now you've got this uphill thing where you let go and it equilibrates. So you have you know what what drives the flow of the water is is the column is the water column is the head. When you say the well, you're speaking of the well at the residence home. The well at the residence home, the well, the bottom of the well is 600 feet, but the top of the water column is well above that, is actually well above the landfill. But it's being pumped up, so it's not like it's being siphoned up, it's being pumped up. Right. So what difference, I mean, of course the water can go uphill if there's a pump. Well, the, the, the influence of the pump is very limited. The, the borehole... Okay, see, this is, I don't think they could teach me if I went to engineering school. I mean, I, I, if, you, if you have contaminants that are six feet below, and you're telling me that the reason it's on the top is because the water doesn't go up, but you have an electric pump that's bringing the water up. I, I am sorry, I don't buy that, but I didn't go through school for the things you went through, so I don't really want to comment on that. But it seems like people are thinking if this is disproven, it means the landfill is safe. This, got, this isn't even on my top 10 list of reasons I'm not comfortable with the landfill, but that's, that's neither here or there. I'm, I'm very concerned about the litigation this stuff on whether Casella's responsible or we're responsible, I don't get how, why that makes a difference because you've got a contract but verbal commitments, especially in a town meeting in front of everybody, verbal commitments have legal standing too. It's just the town doesn't, wanna, doesn't seem to want to defend itself. It seems like everything's being controlled from outside of the town. We had a council here a year ago that said they're against the landfill and they're full speed ahead on the landfill. So I don't get it. Mr. There are Palowski, broken site assignment conditions. You've hit your, your time limit. Pardon? You've hit your time limit. So their and time Mr. counts against me? And Mr. San Angelo wants to respond back to you. So a so couple of questions that you asked. First of all, uh, the town uh, protects itself. And, and we have an environmental attorney representing the town looking at all of the issues as to contracts and who's responsible. That is clearly being done, and we have a high-quality environmental attorney working for us. Secondarily, the issue of, you, you got into the issue of who's paying and, and, and tie and bonds loyalty, so to speak, as to it. Let me make it perfectly clear, they work for the town, period. 
They don't represent the land, the Casella in any way at all. In Southbridge. They, they, they do in other right, towns. Well, I'm talking about this issue with Southbridge. They represent us. They are paid directly from us. If you understand the, the contract that was put in place, the town at that time wanted to make sure that it protected the town. So it made Casella provide us the money to pay for our own consultants and engineers, but it's the town who pays that money. It's not coming from Casella. It's clear, and in the year that I've worked with them, it's clear that they represent and work for me uh, and work for the town of Southbridge. So I have no concerns whatsoever about that. You know, this theory that this started, some of these things could have been from the 70s, I don't understand why they didn't show up eight years ago. They started to show up eight years ago, small amounts. That's when they started providing water to Mrs. Cooper. And I don't see why, what is it, 40 some odd years later, it suddenly shows up a Mr. lot more? I, I don't get it. It doesn't seem to connect. Okay. And also, I don't think, if this is what would be very helpful, who could save the town a ton of money. Mr. There's Palowski. two bits of information that weren't reported. Mr. Chenier mentioned yesterday, former airport commissioner, that the state Mr. used, Mr. it was Palowski. please. No. So even though it can save the town tens of millions of dollars, you don't want to hear it because of some made up three minute rule for tonight. Is the chair? Okay, I, might, I could save you ten million, but make sure you just silence me. Please, just, please, just like the other night. please email me those suggestions, and we will maybe the address people them. town would want to know it too. I'd sell, you know, I will read them. The I will read them. I will read them. Well, but thank again, you for reading. I, I want to maintain an In the orderly time meeting. We just spoke, it could thank have been. you, thank you, thank Mr. Palowski.